Hello everybody! In this video, you're going to actually learn how to do a content tab inside your article. Right? So a content tab is actually useful if you want to maybe elaborate uh, certain details of your product. And putting it inside an article sometimes is not very uh, obvious to the person that is reading your article to understand what exactly your product includes. So let's see how we can do this. Alright, so right now you will see the website, okay, my website, and I'm going to go into my blog and I'm going to show you this particular article that uses this tab thing. So uh, let's go into uh, places to learn how to be a YouTuber, alright, and I've written a very nice article here uh, on how to get started and everything. And somewhere in my article, I actually have a section here that outlines what you would learn in uh, every single topic within the workshop. All right. So as we click through all the available options here, you can basically see uh, different uh, sub-items right, for each uh, different uh, topic. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's find out how to actually do this from your dashboard. So right now, you are inside the dashboard, okay? When you are in the dashboard, go into plugins and go into add new, All right? So it's plugins, add new. So in here, all right, make sure you type the word tabs, T-A-B-S. And the one that we're looking for is actually this one. So tabs from WP Shop Mart. All right, so uh, go ahead and install and activate this plugin. And once you're done with that, you should see this tabs responsive uh, item in your menu on the left. All right, so let's go in there. Okay, and let's, let's start creating our first tab. Okay. So just click on Add New Tabs, all right? And we shall go ahead and name our tab with our game streaming topics, all right? Okay, and if you scroll down, you will see there are pre-built uh, three placeholders uh, for your tab content. So just give me a moment to put in all the related content in here first. So I'm just going to start with the first one, all right? Title, all right. Um, okay, I have some content here, which I can actually use the what you see and what you get editor. Just click on that. Uh, click on visual, so that you get a more visual way of putting in your content. So I'm just going to change it into a bullet list, so that it's easier to read in point form. Then after you're done, click on insert code. All right. So basically everything will be formatted nicely for you as the content. Not just that, you can actually change the icon as well. So I'm going to change it out into something a little bit more relevant. Okay. So I'm going to just quickly fill up the other two. All right. And we'll see what else we can do after that. Right, so basically we have three topics here, but I actually wanted four. So in order to add one more new tab, I can actually click on the Add New Tabs button here. All right, so go ahead and click on that, okay? And I'm going to put in the last tab content.
So we are right now uh, more or less done with the content of our tab here. Yeah? All right. So let's go ahead and click on publish. Okay, let's publish this tab. And we will actually put this tab inside our article to see how it looks like right now. Okay, so if after you save uh, and publish the tab, uh, if you scroll down a little bit more, you will be able to see a tab short code section here. All right, so this is the short code for you to put inside your article. So my article is a post. I shall actually go into the post and all posts and look up my YouTuber article. All right, let me just go into visual. All right, and what I can do right now is just simply put in the short code right here. All right, so let's go ahead and click on update. Okay, and we will actually see how it looks like in our website right now. Okay, so blog. Let's just go and see what is in our article right now. So let's scroll down and take a look. All right. Ah, so you see something that looks like a tab. Okay. Uh, it's actually horizontal on the top. All right. Okay. And you can see that actually layout wise, there is a little bit of a problem here because uh, apparently the topic titles that I use are very, very long. Now, you can change the layout and also certain colors and fonts of the tab contents, which is what we are going to do right now. Yeah. So just go back into your dashboard. Again, go back into tabs responsive and let's edit that tab again. All right. Now, let's scroll down a little bit. Okay. So this was the place where you put in the content. All right. Now, on your right-hand side here, there's a lot of other settings that you can use to change how your tab looks like, all right? So first of all, let's fix the layout issue. So I'm going to scroll right all the way down, okay? All the way down until I see uh, tabs alignment. Now, you can mouse over the help button to actually see what you're changing because they will actually give you some samples, okay? So uh, horizontal basically means uh, the tabs are on top, all right? Vertical basically means the tabs are on the side. All right, so I think the tabs on the side would actually fit me a bit better. So I'm just going to change this to vertical. All right, and I noticed that the font is a little bit different from my article font. So I'm going to actually go and change it as well. So let me scroll back a little bit up and I can actually see here font style and family. I'll just change it into uh, sans serif, okay, which is what uh, my article is using now. All right, uh, I can change the font size if I want to. I can actually change um, the description, font color, or even ah, a background color like this also can help. Right, so uh, if I think white color is too plain, I'll change it into something a little bit more uh, colorful. All right, perhaps a light blue would be nice. Okay, slightly light blue. All right. Okay, I'll just copy the same color code, all right, and do it also on the title background color so that, you know, it can be the same. Okay, so I think I'm okay with whatever settings I have now. Just click on update. Okay, and after that, you go back into your article and just do a refresh. All right, so you can basically see, ah, it changed into whatever style that you want, okay? And also, it's very nicely laid out for you like this. Hi everyone, thanks for watching the video and uh, don't forget to click on subscribe and uh, click on the bell, okay? Uh, so to keep uh, informed of new upcoming videos on the channel. Until then, see you in the next video.